Welcome back to Teaching with Ms. Robles. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with all my videos. Today, I will be showing you how to create a tangram puzzle or tangram shapes that students can use to learn more about shapes, the properties of shapes, and just for fun. So let's get started. First, take your printer paper and fold it just like this. We need to make a square before we can start making our tangram. Make sure the paper is lined up nicely, then press down to make a solid crease. Flip over your paper and fold over the side of the page like this. Again, making sure to line up your paper nicely. Press down to make a solid crease. Now you're going to take your scissors and cut off the rectangular edge like I am doing here. You can toss that piece to the side since that will not be part of your tangram. Next, create another crease through your square by folding over one corner of the square like I am doing. Make sure your corners are lined up as perfectly as possible. Press down to make a solid crease. Open the square back up and grab your scissors to cut across your new crease. Now you should have two triangles. Set one of your triangles to the side. Take one of the triangles and cut along the crease, creating two triangles, like I'm doing here. Set both of those triangles to the side for now. Grab your other larger triangle and fold the apex of the triangle toward the base, making sure the tip lines up with the crease too. Press down to make a solid crease. Grab your scissors and cut along the new crease, just like I'm doing here. Now you should have a trapezoid and a triangle. Set the triangle to the side. Now take your scissors and cut along the crease made on the trapezoid. Now you should have two trapezoids with right angles. Set one of the trapezoids to the side. Now fold your trapezoid so your base angles touch, just like this. Take your scissors and cut along your new crease, just like this. You should now have a triangle and a square. Put both of these shapes to the side. Grab your other trapezoid now and fold the top base angle to the bottom base angle, just like I am doing here. Take your scissors and cut across this new crease. Now you have all of the pieces you need to make your very own tangram. 
Let your students try to put all the shapes together into a square again. Promote their creativity by having them create as many things as possible using all of the shapes, or even use the shapes to teach more about their attributes and properties. There are endless ways you can use tangrams, so grab a piece of paper and scissors to create your very own tangram. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time during Teaching with Ms. Robles.